Alrighty. I hereby call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. The time is 6.30. Our first order of business is going to be to approve uh, two pairs of minutes. Um, the first one will be for uh, uh, August 7th, 2023. And correct me if I'm wrong, we have a, a change to that, those minutes? Yes, those were previously approved. Um, we forgot to include um, an appointment to the Cultural Council. So that you had voted on, it just wasn't in the minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we also have the meeting from our from the minutes from our last meeting, October 16th, 2023. Um, I would accept a motion to approve both those minutes. I motion we approve both sets of minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Three nothing. All right. New business. Uh, first up, we have alcohol and entertainment licenses for Smarowski Daily Festival. Yes. Mr. Skimarowski. What do today? Um, so yeah, we had a data festival again last year. Um, COVID kind of killed us the last couple of years. Um, before COVID, it was something small. We bring the neighbors, family, friends in to celebrate the harvest. And uh, over the years, it kind of got a little bit bigger. Last year, we brought in a, uh, a band and uh, we had uh, BBC come in as well, serve some beer, and uh, hope to do the same this year as well. Um, we really didn't have any problems at all last year. Um, Years past, parking kind of got out of hand and on the streets. And last year we bought it in. We kind of cleared off the field out back, kind of kept it all in property. Um, plenty of staff to help everybody around, internet exit. Um, what were the police last year if there's any problems? Um, pretty smooth as far as we all saw it go. Um, this year, obviously, I think you guys just voted in to do uh, entertainment license, obviously. Um, and we're looking to do another band on Sunday. Um, and it's going to be a polka band, so we're pretty excited about that. There's really no polkas in the area anymore. A lot of people are excited to hear about it. So, um, just uh, moving forward on the Sunday license, um, hope to get it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and um, the Sunday license, we have to put that through the state, right? Yeah. Correct? Okay. Yep, we have um, and we have time to, to get that done, I assume? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I called the state. They had to call back. So okay. we're going we're gonna to do our best. We'll Got get it. it in tomorrow. All right. Um, any discussion from the board? Any questions? How many people do you think you had there last year? I've uh, got a couple hundred. Couple um, hundred. Obviously, everything in retail business. Weather permit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, this last weekend, we got more rain. Uh, uh, the biggest thing that hurt us most is very much rain this year. And uh, they killed us in the farm. And uh, Last year we had uh, it's in the seventies. It was really nice November weekend, and it was a good turnout. And hoping for the same. Obviously, if you got rain, it'll probably be less. So yeah, it all depends. So, um, but uh, yeah, moving forward, I mean, everything was pretty under control last year, and um, hope the same for this year. So the parking uh, is the same as you had last year. Well, yeah, I wrote a map out for you guys. Yeah, see. that's what I'm looking at. Pretty simple. Yeah. Like I said, the years past was on the road. We brought it in, so our field out back, we uh, we cleared out, and uh, it's pretty simple in and out. And uh, okay. you know, obviously, we have all the uh, alcohol is cornered off to one section, so nobody's going to be walking around the whole farm. Uh, yeah. And then we have a section for all the kids for all the games and everything. A section for the food and the band. So. Try to keep everything all together. Wonderful. And Jeff, I'm assuming no issues from your end or from the no, police sir. fire or anything like that. Police, fire, court of health, um, building, everybody was happy. Neighbors are happy with it, so it's all good. The neighbors are all related. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it a lot easier, yeah. the neighbors, huh? Yeah. Play the music loud so we can hear it over there. <laughs> yeah, we love it. Um, any other discussion on the board? Okay. I would entertain a, a motion to approve both the alcohol and entertainment licenses uh, for the potato festival. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Looking forward to that. All right, uh, next up we have the South County EMS lease extension. Uh, Crystal, you want to give us a little bit of background on that? You were. Yeah, so um, it's the, um, the desire is to extend a lease with the current rate and everything for five years. Um, no price increase, no changes to the lease. I don't think there's that. much more to say than that about it. Right. And the, the, um, 
the committee's recommendation is yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. The right. Board of Oversight recommends. Um, any questions? Anyone? No, I think it's fine. All right. Do we need to vote on that or is that yeah. just okay? Just to accept the and then and then I'll pass it around here and sign. Okay. Um, I would entertain a motion to accept the South County EMS lease extension as presented. Uh, so moved. Second. All right. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Yay. You can have EMS for another five years. <laughs> All right. So that oh, let me see the price of an ambulance. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Um, all right. So that's it for new business. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff on old business. Um, first up is going to be the Veterans Memorial appointment. Yes. So I think I confused the situation um, when I said it was a two and a half year appointment. So I think if you want to appoint Mr. Biden Devitz through June 30th, 2026, you and that would be a three year appointment. So just another vote appointing him for three year, a three year term. And then we are good. Um, at this time, I would make a motion to revote on the appointment of Tom Biden Kevitz for a three year term until June 2026. You said? Yeah. All right. All right. My motion we appoint Tom Biden Kevitz through June of 2026. Second. All right. Motion being seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, next up is select board updates. Um, I didn't have anything this past week. Um, the only thing is we have the public safety uh, thing coming up. I believe that's this Saturday um, at the elementary school from the, the four to six or four to eight or something. Like that. Yeah, but yeah, I think it goes to eight. Okay, yeah. Um, so that should be a, a fun time. If anyone in wants to check it out, please do. Um, that's it for me. Crystal, do you have anything? So the only thing I had was South County EMS. Lease agreement. Um, voted for them to pursue um, getting a new ambulance. You know, it's a couple year turnaround from mm -hmm. the time you decide this is what you want till it actually shows up. Um, they're a hefty price tag. Um, yeah. But, you know, what they, They've, you know, obviously through the years have um, found what they like, what they don't like, where the shortcomings are with different vendors and stuff. So they've got a proposal for a pretty nice ambulance. Um, and that's about it for that. Excellent. Thank you. I've been laughing this week. Beautiful. Lots of cool. Um, Town administrative updates? Yep. Yep. Just two quick things. The assessors reached out. They would like to do the tax classification hearing at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. That's where we set the tax rate for the next year. They'll do their presentations. Um, sorry, it's not setting the tax rate. It's deciding whether or not to have a split tax rate. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be the decision. So they'll do a presentation. It'll be fairly short. Um, and then the other thing is typically in October, we start the budget process. I am hopeful that by next week we will have an estimate of free cash and then wow <laughs> i'm hopeful i'm hopeful you mean like for 2024 not 2025 really <laughs> um so if we do that, that's why I, i've sort of postponed because once we get free cash then we can say oh yeah we're good you know um we think we can have an expanded budget or level services or whatever mm -hmm. so um, probably shortly after that, we'll we'll be talking about um, the budget memo and really getting into that. It was February last year, wasn't it? Um, maybe the end of February. Yeah, I'm gonna it's say late. <laughs> later than we'd like. So this will be much, a very pleasant surprise all around. Wonderful. Uh, is that everything for you? That's everything. All right. So at this point, at this time, uh, pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A, Paragraph 3. Uh, to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real estate um, at the chair, myself, the bears, that open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of the public body. Uh, we hereby move into executive session. Uh, when executive session is done, we will call back the public session just to vote us out. Any notes on that? Uh, so you need to do a roll call vote to enter executive session. Okay. Um, I would entertain a motion to enter executive session. Or do I just say I don't call a roll call vote? 
Uh, yeah, motion second. Okay. I would take a, I demand a motion to enter into executive session. I motion we enter into executive session. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Nope. Mr. Uh, Murphy? Sorry, yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Chambay? Yes. Mr. Ware? Yes. All right. All right, and that would be at 6.40 p.m. Thank you. Beautiful.